Well, howdy doody, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTubes. This your boy Infamous come to you with a not so epic division video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I'm taking a break from the division and maybe possibly getting rid of the division. There's a couple key things I want to talk about that's really been aggravating the shit out of me the past, you know, month, month and a half, two months. I've been keeping on the down low, but it, it's just like the more I play the division, the more agitated I get with it, and I'm and I'm getting to the point where I just I just want to call it quits, okay? And I you know I hope you don't mind. And I know a lot of my subscribers are division, are you know big fans of the division, and I hope and you know I hope you stay around because there's plenty more. Uh, Dirt naps to be handed out by different games, not just the division. But uh, sit back, shut the hell up, and watch the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can understand where I'm coming from. And I, uh, you know, I don't want to see nobody leave. But you know, I understand if you, I understand if you do leave. No hard feelings. But for those of you that do decide to stick around and have my back 100%. You ain't gonna be missing out on no division content. I, I can promise you, it's gonna be either Battlefront or Battlefield, or I can drive the sh I can like Bone Luke Duke RC cars on Rocket League, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, just watch the video, and I I'll talk about some key, you know, some key key things. I want, you know, I've got some major issues with in the division. So our first order of business, and you know, this is a this is a major a major problem with me. Is the game chat, dude? The game, like the. I mean, I'm probably gonna be stepping on a lot of people's toes when I say this, but the the division community is so freaking toxic, dude. It's beyond. It's ridiculous as shit, man. Like for instance, I was in the dark zone yesterday, running PVP solo. Come upon these four rogues. I'm running dead eye. I drop one of them. They pop recovery link, pick him back up, and they face tank the shit out of me. And the first thing they said was, bitch, you're trash as shit, dude. You're garbage. You're trash. And, you know, all this shit talking is just... When was... Uh, just ask yourself. When was the last time you were in you were in the dark zone, you 1v1 or 4 v 4 and somebody asked you, damn, what kind of what kind of build you running, dude? Like, you, you hit harder than like butter, and like butter get pissed off. I told you this. You know what I'm saying? Just... Just... The shit talk. I mean, if they could get rid of the game chat, man, I think the division would be a, a hell of a lot better game than it is now. But, and I'm sure there's been a lot of people leaving simply because, well, rogues and two, the shit talking, man. Some people out there think they're gods at this game and they're Billy really badasses. But, you know, let's face it it's a game. Yeah, you might whip my ass, or yeah, I might whip your ass. Just. Cut the shit. Cut the damn trash talking, dude. You ain't no better person than I am. Your person, your character might be a better person than mine is, but there's no, there's no reason to, you know, shit talk. And yeah, you know, you know, I am guilty of trash talking. Yeah, okay, I, I know, I'm guilty. But the only time I trash talk is when somebody starts talking mad shit to me. Then we have a problem. Then I start talking mad shit. And if you kill me while I'm talking shit to you. Well, you best you best believe in about five minutes you're gonna have a notification that Infamous sent you a message, and it's not gonna be so very freaking nice. So yeah, the, the like the freaking trash talking is so freak like the vision community is so toxic, man. It's it's ridiculous, dude. The next thing I want to talk about is the nerfing and buffing. You know, it, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I remember when Striker and Sentry first came out. Sentry was my go-to build, man. I was working so hard for Sentry. I had me an awesome Sentry build, an awesome MP7. And what happens? It gets it gets nerfed. Cause too many, cause quote unquote, too many people are running Sentry. Too many people are running SMGs. So let's nerf it. So the next thing is shotguns, which, of course, I never run, ran shotguns until I started getting my ass whipped, so I figured I'd fight fire with fire and start running a shotgun build. Well, then that son of a bitch gets nerfed. And then it was Alpha Bridge. I started getting my ass whipped by Alpha Bridge. I worked so damn hard to get an Alpha Bridge set, and then that son of a bitch gets nerfed. I worked so hard on my Alpha Bridge, and then Banshee rolls around, and I'm doing pretty good with Banshee, so I, I don't know if they're going to... 
nerf it, but I work real hard on Dead Eye, and then Dead Eye gets is going to get the freaking nerf, dude. Their problem every time there's a, a quote unquote problem or everybody's using it, they nerf the shit out of it. You know, I was talking to a buddy of mine last night, or not for last, uh, Brett. He, uh, he's a good friend of mine and a subscriber on my YouTube channel, and I hope you're listening, buddy, because, you know, this brings up a good point. You know, pretty soon they're going to be nerfing every damn thing, and you're going to be left with freaking... You're going to be unarmed running run around the streets of, of New York hitting people, and then people are going to start bitching that you hit me harder than I hit you. And then they're going to nerf that shit. And then the next thing's going to be a damn snowball, dude. It's, it's a never-ending cycle, man. Every time, some, every time like, they have something good going on, it that? gets nerfed. It gets, it gets nerfed to the ground. We want you to run something else. <clears throat> and, you know, I have a lot of people saying, Dead Eye don't require no skill. Well, bitch, neither do Seeker Minds. And last time I checked, I had to peg you two or three times with my dead eye to kill you, unlike Seeker Minds. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's constantly, man, nerfing and nerfing and nerfing. You get one build freaking excellent, and next thing you know, well, we're going, we're going to nerf this because everybody's using it, and we don't like that kind of shit. A lot of bunch of cupcakes are getting offended because they're getting their asses whipped. How about if you don't like it, man, build your own one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Seeker Minds. I bitch and complain about Seeker Minds all the damn time, but you will never see me run a Seeker Mind build. And I can guarantee you that, dude. Because Seeker Minds require no skill at all whatsoever to drop two, three, four people. So the next thing on the agenda is the hip fire. The hip fire, when they, when they introduced the hit fire camera this new hit fire camera it was introduced on pc they didn't take in consideration there's a lot of people out there still playing console so they're like well let's release the hit fire camera on the pc and just we'll, we'll just hope it works out on the console no it doesn't work out dude especially when you're running the damn when you're face taking a uh, shotgun build not only are you getting the quote unquote stagger or the flinch, but your scream either bounces too high and you're looking up at the damn stars or you're looking up or you're looking down at the damn snow on the with the between the stagger and the hit fire camera. You know it, why why would you why would you mess with the damn hit fire camera? Cause people can't use it? Well I tell you why people can't use it, it's cause they ain't damn practicing. At first, I wasn't good at with the hit fire camera, but then I started using it, started using it, started using it, and I got a hell of a lot better. And next thing I know, bam, we're going to introduce this hit fire camera that's that's going to make it easier for everybody to use. Well, newsflash, it ain't easy on console players. What you just did, you just nerfed the damn hit fire camera. So this next part is, of course, the stagger. The stagger. The stagger is so freaking stupid, dude. Like, do they just, do they sit in cubicles and just be like, well, let's find out ways to piss people off in the game and push people away. Well, let's introduce stagger. <laughs> it blows my, it blows my damn mind, dude. They, they got, the people who introduce staggers got, probably got to be like the higher ups that don't know shit about playing games or something. And then... Not only after the stagger, then they start messing with the med kits. <laughs> the med kit, the med, nothing was wrong with the med kits, man. And then they got to freaking nerf the med kits. Well, we're gonna give you a little bit of heal, and then it'll slow you build. It'll slowly build you back up. Well, by the time you get building back up, you're dead or shit because, well, you didn't you didn't have the med pack when you needed it. I. Where do people get their freaking, their freaking, you know, their certificates or degrees from? The back of a cereal box? The division is down, regardless of what anybody tells you. It's, a, I hit the dark zone, it's the same people over and over again. And who to blame because the division dying? Well, I can tell you who it's, whose fault it is. It's the developers for a piss poor job at keeping this you know game and community alive dude is yeah i don't know it's ridiculous
So let's talk about the survival link, the tack out, and the, and the recovery link. The recovery link don't work worth a shit just like the med packs. So they've got it now so when you pop a recovery link, the rest of your squad who has a recovery link can't use it. It's locked. That's bullshit. You should be able to pop your recovery link if you need to for yourself. Again, they nerf the shit out of it. The tactical all is so overpowered you could damn near 1v4 a squad by just popping a tack on. The survival link, survival link used to be good until what happens? They nerf it because too many people are using it. A survival link should counter a tack alt. No, it doesn't. The tack alt eats right through the survival link. And they sit here and say, the tack alt is not overpowered. It's not overpowered. Why are you complaining? Bullshit! There's many, many other issues I have with the division. But the ones I just talked about is the ones that really set me off and is pushing me away from the division. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you liked what you've seen, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. If you didn't like this video here with you, like it anyway. And if I stepped on anybody's toes, I'm sorry. It just had to be said. I know I'm not the only one in the community, in the division community, that's thinking this. But uh, Infamous Gaming is at 2,160 subscribers on the YouTubes. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are some good ass people. Y'all are my homeboys and girls. I appreciate it. But uh, I hope y'all stick around. I hope y'all don't leave simply because I just stated what I what I what I felt was on my mind, and that I'm possibly going to be leaving the division. But uh, if you do if you do leave, I understand. No worries. No problem. No hard feelings. But until next time, Infamous has dropped the hammer. Peace.